IDF destroys Hamas's underground terrorist cell with sponge bomb. IDF immediately demolishes Hamas monument inside Gaza, seizes parliament building. More than a month has passed since Israel and Hamas entered the conflict of the century. Israel is continuing to increase attacks on Hamas, causing them to suffer a lot of damage. Up to now, the Israeli army has achieved great achievements as a foundation for a major offensive campaign. More specifically, Sponger bombs, a new innovation of Israel, were put into use to quickly destroy Hamas tunnels. However, this conflict has not yet come to an end while Israel prepares to face challenges with harsh winter weather conditions. Is this a major obstacle that will disrupt Israel's attack? What plans does this army have to overcome these difficulties? Let's find out in today's video to update important developments taking place in the Gaza Strip. We will always update the latest news, so don't forget to subscribe and follow to be the first to see them. And now, without wasting any time, let's get started. The IDF is conducting a ground operation in Gaza to defeat Hamas and rescue their hostages. As the IDF continues the destruction phase of Hamas strongholds in the Northern Strip and time plays its role, an operational dilemma develops on how to proceed from here as long as the overall goal of neutralizing Hamas's military arm has not been achieved. The IDF is constantly increasing attacks on Gaza to destroy important Hamas bases. Recently, the Israeli army increased its attacks on hospitals in central Gaza because it believed that the Hamas command center was built there. Reports show that Israel's plan is progressing well. However, the weather conditions in the next day pose challenges for the Israel army. More storms are expected over the next week or so as temperatures drop to 17 degrees Celsius and winter sets in. The weather is also likely to affect the fighting as mud hinders the movement of Israeli weaponry. The IDF believes it is ready to continue fighting through the winter and has already started an extensive process to outfit its troops on all borders with special winter gear. However, other than the 1948-49 War of Independence, which tactically was a different era and in which the IDF was trying to hold or regain ground, not invade a hostile territory, as with the current invasion of Gaza, the IDF has no experience with winter season battle. But even if the military addresses these known and basic issues, it is unclear how prepared it will be strategically and tactically given the lack of experience operating in the winter under the pressure of battle. Therefore, the IDF also views the issue as a serious one to wrestle with. This challenge is multiplied when taking into account that there is no real end date set for the invasion. Defence sources have said that while IDF troops in the field are getting all of the logistics resupply they need in terms of ammunition, force protection, fuel, equipment, food and energy stimulation, building even makeshift mini-forward bases to provide such logistics resupply within Gaza is still not even close to being within sight. There is a fact that if progress in stabilizing even parts of northern Gaza, where the IDF currently has more control, is still not in sight, then either the period of intense fighting could go deeper into the winter months, or some part of the winter could serve as a first cutoff or slow-down point for the military invasion. Meanwhile, the Northern Front, which has been characterized by a standoff involving mutual firing, needs to have a shift. This area, especially in winter, poses more challenges, demanding imminent changes. The Israel Defense Forces reported that the 401st Brigade has eliminated around 150 terrorists and gained control of Hamas strongholds in northern Gaza. The targets included arms production sites, launching stations, and an underground network. The IDF said in a press release that the 401st Brigade also operated at the Blue Beach Hotel on the coastline in the northern Gaza Strip, from which around 30 Hamas militants had fired several anti-tank missiles at IDF forces. Moreover, its forces had taken control of 11 military posts belonging to Hamas since it began its ground offensive. Not only that, the IDF discovers an underground terrorist complex disguised as a communication center. 
Israeli forces are now massed near the gates of Gaza City's main hospital, ready to storm the labyrinth of tunnels, they say, are underneath the medical center where Hamas terrorists lie in wait. Their aim is to enter the 300-mile network of tunnels that are below the Al-Shifa hospital and Gaza City as a whole and annihilate the terrorists who rampage through Israel. However, that is no easy task. The terrorists have operated within the complex network of reinforced tunnels underneath civilian buildings for years, some of which are buried up to 40th underground and all of which could conceal an ambush and be booby-trapped. Or worse, it is filled with explosives and primed to cave in. This means the Israeli military will have to draw on a variety of technology and weaponry like killer drones, attack dogs and sponge bombs to help their soldiers destroy the terrorists deep within the tunnels. Israeli troops plan to disable the Hamas tunnels and trap the terrorists hiding inside them by using innovative sponge bombs. These bombs, which contain chemicals, create a sudden explosion of dense, dark foam that rapidly expands and hardens, sealing gaps or tunnel entrances. This would block tunnels and potentially trap terrorists there while buying time for proper demolition with explosives later on, once a safe route for commandos has been secured. The Israeli engineers also use sponge bombs in what is known as a purple hair tactic whereby a smoke grenade is thrown into a tunnel before a smoke bomb seals the entrance. If the trapped smoke is seen wafting out of a nearby building, the Israeli troops will know it conceals another entrance. The IDF continues to target Hamas locations on the northern front and seize territories in the Gaza Strip in the ongoing war with Hamas. Several territories that are symbolic of Hamas, including the monument of the Hamas parliament and civilian statues, are being targeted by the IDF. These locations are not only military positions, but also symbols of Hamas ideology. The IDF views Hamas as an ideology that causes fear, oppression, and a threat to Jews in Israel. Therefore, efforts are being made by Israel to destroy these symbols in order to eradicate the ideology that is spreading globally. The Galani Brigade, an infantry unit of the IDF, was photographed inside Hamas's parliament in Gaza. An image circulating on social media shows troops of the IDF's Golani Brigade inside Hamas's military police headquarters in the Gaza Strip after capturing the site. That's the Palestinian Legislative Council. It was built in Gaza and has only served Hamas's lawmakers since the terror group's takeover of the Strip in 2007. The image shows that the soldiers are seen holding an Israeli flag and a flag of Galani's 13th Battalion. The Israeli flag, along with the radiant smiles of the Galani Brigade soldiers, showed the joy and pride present in the photo. That is one of Israel's successes, one of the proofs of their successes up to the present time. The battle against Hamas is considered a spiritual battle, so it requires support as well as prayers from others. So are you someone who is praying for Israel? If so, let's send prayers to Israel in the comments below. Your prayers will become a driving force in support of Israel in its fierce battle against Hamas. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us to get more news as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.